Well, hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Miss Coffee here and today we're back with a unboxing. Yes. Of course, as you can see, this unboxing comes to us from the awesome folks over at DIY Moonshop. So huge thank you to the folks over at DIY Moonshop for providing this for us for today. And what did they send us out today? Today we got a 50 by 59 square and it's called Baking with Friends. Isn't it cute? I love it. So let's go ahead and get into this. I hope everybody's having a wonderful, wonderful day. And if you're not, do something nice for yourself. You deserve it. So, love the new boxes that this, the diamond paintings come in. And when we open up the plastic, let's take a look at this kit real quick. Now, I can tell you now, the confetti is going to be real with this kit. You can just tell by the image that it's going to be real. But that's okay. That's okay. Because there's a, there's a few true diamond painting gangsters out there that confetti does not bother. So, this kit might be for you. So let's see, we have our toolkit. If you've never seen a DIY Moonshop toolkit, you'll get a white boat with a funnel, a couple of plates of wax, a caddy of wax, a six and a three placer, a clear pin, a blue squishy, and a pair of tweezers. Yes, they are the sharp ones, so be careful not to shank yourself. All right, and then we have our kit. You ready? Are you ready? Bam. Now, this kit's a little bit different than the other kits I showed you just because of the simple fact that the legend on this one, unfortunately, is at the bottom. I really wish that they would put these on the sides on all of them and not just the bigger ones just because it's kind of a pain in the butt to look down at what you're doing, especially if you're at the top and having to fold that up. But don't worry. They give you a legend just in case. So where's your legend? It's going to be in here with your drill. So if you are someone who doesn't like the noise of the crinkling plastic, please meet your phone for like, mm. 30 seconds or until you stop struggling. All right, uh, I guess until I stop struggling. And can you really call yourself a diamond painter if you don't like that noise? Asking for myself. Now, this kit in particular has 36 colors. So let's take a look at these symbols and see what we got. I see alphabets. I see a number or two. So I'm seeing all alphabets and numbers. And look how beautiful this kit is, you guys. Oh my gosh, look, she's cooking. She had a little bird over there on the side. Oh my God. And there's another little bird here on the counter. You need to wipe your paws or your, your little feet there because I don't want you touching all over my stuff. All right, and then, oh. <laughs> then we have our drills. I wasn't gonna pull them all out, but they kind of fell out. <laughs> but let's take a look at these squares. Let's see here. Am I seeing anything that's going to cause me any concern? I'm not so far. So far, they look really good. And the reason why it's looking like two different colors is just because of uh, the lighting. We are looking at this in natural sunlight. So as you can see, it's the same color here, but right where my thumb is down here, it looks a little bit darker. That's what you're seeing. You're seeing shadows when it's all balled up like that. All right. So the drill quality looks really good. Of course, you might have some dirt in there or something, but no worries. All drills will come with some kind of dirt or debris in them. So let's see here. I'm not seeing anything in particular. So yeah, so your color palette with this is going to be browns and you got light shades of browns, you got dark shades of browns, we have red. Let's see, letter. We'll figure that out here in a few minutes. So this is your color palette. Lots of pale colors, which are great for, especially for those folks that are like me that don't necessarily do dark color kits. This might be the kit for you. And it is a square, again, as I said, it has 36 colors, 50 by 59. This is by Enyus Dennis. I'm, I'm probably saying that incorrectly. I do apologize. Again, your legend is down here on the side. And let's take a look at the actual kit itself. Let's take a look. So we're going to find her skin tone, which is letter B as in boy. is going to be the major color for her skin tone. So let's see how they rendered her skin tone. So we're looking for the letter B on the legend, which I can already tell you is going to be on point 921. Look, listen. Listen, 921 is my favorite color when you're doing POC. It is this color here. So her skin tone is going to be this color, which means all the darker colors and the reds and stuff might highlight that color. 
but it's going to be this color. That is a perfect skin tone for this kit because it doesn't make her skin look red. It also doesn't wash her out. It's going to be the perfect color for her skin tone. So I love the fact that they chose that for the skin tone. The rest of the kit should be colored fine, but whenever it comes to people, you have to be careful with the skin tones because a lot of the times the skin tones can come out red. So I was a little worried that these were going to be part of her skin tone, which they still might be like around her, her cheeks and stuff. See, I'm seeing the letter Y. And if we look on the legend, letter Y is 817. What did I tell you? They love putting red in there. So... Even though she has the 921 as a major skin tone, her highlights, meaning the blushing in her cheek, is going to be this bright red color. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping that they'll blend well together. They look like they should do all right together, but, you know, that's one of those colors I can't see the best. And I can already tell that it's probably some type of red or I'm going to guess it's red because cheeks don't usually turn green unless you're sick. And I don't think she's going to be sick baking with friends. So. Everything looks pretty good here, drill quality wise. It looks like we should have all of our bags. So again, 36 colors. I'm not seeing any ABs in this kit. That's the other thing I was just noticed is that there's no ABs in this kit. Um, this kit, it, nope, I lied. Right off the bat, I'm lying. There is one AB in this kit. Uh -uh, AB alert. Now, if you are new to diamond painting or DIY moon shop, uh, AB is Aurora Borealis. It's an iridescent coating that's put on the drills to make them sparkle just a little bit brighter. And when you lay them down on your kit, it will pick up the light from the color sitting next to it and make it sparkle brighter as well. Because one shines, we all shine, you heard. So 742 is going to be your AB. Now, they do have this in a regular 742. Just to show you the difference between an AB and a non-AB, it looks like the AB is a little bit darker, if you can see it there. It looks like a little bit darker, but you can see that iridescent coating on there. So this is the exact same color, except for one's an AB and one's a normal drill, which of course your normal and then your AB is going to be here. And they are two different symbols. No, I lied again. They are the same symbol, because usually they put them as two different symbols, but this time they're the same symbol. They're letter H. So letter H on your kit... And it's lowercase h, it's not the uppercase h, so you'll have to be careful. So I'm seeing them on her head wrap here. I'm seeing a couple over here in these flowers. I'm seeing them anywhere else? Down here on this oven mitt. I'm seeing possibly a couple down here on the bottom where this lemon is. So it looks like they're going to be sprinkled throughout the kicks. I'm also seeing some on the bird here. So you're not getting like a whole bunch of them on the kit. You are getting just a little bit of ABs on the kit and that is just fine. Um, it's a very simplistic kit. Nice, would go nicely in a kitchen for like decor. Um, but I absolutely love this kit. It has really good skin tone. I am a little, little bit worried about the, the red for the cheeks because that's kind of a bright red. Like if they would have done like an, a, a 815, I wouldn't have been as worried. But with 921 and 817, um, that's kind of a bright color, if I remember correctly. So, like, I'm really hoping that they should go together okay. You guys can be the judge of that yourselves. Does that go good together okay? Do you think it'll blend well with her cheeks? Because that red color is going to go right here underneath her eyes and right on top of her nose. So you'll have that there, and then the rest of her skin, most of it is going to be that 921. So... With that said, again, huge thank you to the folks over at DIY Moonshot for providing this for us. I do greatly, greatly appreciate it. And thank you for watching. Now, if you have any other questions, comments, concerns about this kit, please leave those down in the comment section below. And I'll do my best to get back to you as soon as I possibly can. But with that said, I got to get out of here, folks. So again, thank you so much for watching. Please remember to stay caffeinated, stay crafty, stay safe, wear your mask, wash your hands, don't touch your face in public. Keep your six feet and always try to remember to be kind to others because you never know what somebody else is going through. Be courteous because it's the right thing to do and always stay cool. Bye, guys.